Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Millie Mill. I'm at my relative's house, Lene, and I'm still adding some decor to our house. Um, we haven't finished the kitchen yet. If you've been following me on YouTube, you know that we left off with uh, wallpaper in her um, eating dining, in a uh, eating kitchen. And we will finish that up soon, too. But I wanted to put some wall decor in her bathroom. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a DIY, and I went over to, um, well, first of all, you remember what I told y'all, I was going to go take a picture of something, like, you can use any picture you want, and then you go take it, and then you expose it, you know, make it bigger, enlarge it. So why go buy, you know, a painting that's going to cost you $20 or so, but you can do a D DIY for an 8x10 for a little or nothing. So what we did was we went over to, see, I want to show you this one. This one has already been done. I um, enlarged this painting. Uh, what I did was I took a picture of the one that's already in the bathroom, and I took it over to, um, I hope I can say the name, quote, unquote, uh, CBS, one of the um, model brick stores, and I enlarged it to an 8 by 10 so that um, I could have like a theme in a bathroom. So I have two of them, and I'm going to place this in my bathroom tonight for y'all. So you get these frames from the Dollar Tree. And what you do here, now let me finish putting it together. I'm going to have to hurry because I don't want to take up too much time. But I thank you all for watching me, all of you who have been watching me on YouTube. I thank you so much for taking the time out for your uh, busy schedule and um, time from your life to watch me. So this one has been done. And you see this here? You're not going to set it up like this. Of course not. You want to put it on the wall. So what you could do, just take this off in the back. You see this? It comes right off. And what we can do now is what we're going to do is put the, um, the stick-on tapes. Because a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people do not like holes in the walls these days. Like in apartment buildings. Uh, people who are have apartment buildings, really can't put holes in the wall. So now we have it where we can go get these stick up, stick on tapes and it sticks. Some of them can hold like up to 50 pounds, believe it or not. Go to um, one of those brick model stores, Home Depot, um, you know, not that I'm advertising them, but places like that, Walmart, and get those um, hooks that sticks right on the wall, no hole. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to finish up with this one, it's empty, as you can see. So I wanted to show y'all how I blew up the picture. Uh, where is it? I think I left this one in the envelope. Okay, so this is the envelope you're going to get from CBS with the pictures in it. When you get home, you check it and everything like that. And this one I blew up to an 8x10. Yeah, this is an 8x10. So uh, we're going to take this. And we're going to place it. See how beautiful this is? I blew this up. It was just a, uh, I duplicated another picture that I bought. The one that I have in there is a canvas in the bathroom. And what I did was I took a picture of it with my camera. And I took it over to CVS. And because I wanted to make a, uh, some more pictures to put around in her bathroom. With this kind of coordination. You know, like a theme for her bathroom. So, here we go. Put that in there. Put this stuff here, here, and put it in here. Close it down. And don't, don't forget now, we already took off the back because we're going to stick this on the wall. And if you don't want this part here, just get that off too. Don't worry about it. But we're worrying about the tape that goes around here and make sure that it's thick. Or you can get those um, 3M tapes, you know, hooks. You got the 3M hooks, and they have these kind of tape in the back of them. And you just stick it on the wall. And it, it holds like some some of them will hold up to 50 pounds. So you don't have to put a hole. You don't have to drill a hole in your wall nowadays. Um, well, I'm not putting this on right because it looks like it's been a little out of whack here for me. But anyway, we got it. Okay. So we close this wall down. And now we have a wall picture. You see? To put on in her bathroom. We got two of them because this way I want to put two more in her bathroom. So we got that. Then I'm going to hurry up and get to the next step. Now, I went and bought this here, too. These are going to be like um, the thing that's going to go on this. 
This I bought, but some of you probably can make it. If you are uh, used to doing DIY, you probably can make this. This gets a wire and a little cardboard and something. But of course, sometimes um, I get a little lazy. And um, hey, I'm not used to doing DIY. Excuse me, y'all. And little kids playing around here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up on the wall too in the bathroom. So now we're leaving out of the kitchen to the bathroom to finish up some of her wall uh, decorating uh, decors. So now where are we? Um, oh, I got to hurry. Okay, so now you know this is big, this sponge thing here. It's kind of big. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these little things. Get them from the Dollar Tree. These all come from the Dollar Tree. You get three of these little things here for a dollar. Okay? Planners for just a dollar. All right? And it's just like what you need for a bathroom. Um, so what you do is you take it, put it here. Take a pencil or a pen. doesn't matter because you're going to cut it out. Go around the bottom here so that you know how. I think this is going to go down into your thing. You see? Now you got the hole here. You see? You see? Keep going around and going around. But I don't have all the equipment I need to, to dig this out. So what I'm going to try to do is just go around and try to get it out as much as I can. Because I don't need that much anyway. I'm going to move as fast as I can. This is the last decor. Well, another decor that I'm going to put here on that little shelf. That hexagon shelf right there that we have there, and you know if you got like um okay, so we, we want to get down in here as much as we can, get as much as this we can. Um, just keep going, and don't cut your hands now, okay? So uh, be careful with the scissors, be careful with knives, anything you use, and you can do it on this side too. I don't know why I did that. Uh, on this at the bottom. It probably would have been better if I did it up at the top. But like I said, I am good with DIY with um, centerpieces. And I use a lot of this to do my centerpieces. So let's see how much we, we need here. Because we got to stick that down in that thing there. And this is too big. I couldn't find a smaller size. So I got as much as I could from the Dollar Tree. We just keep going around. In or out until you feel that you got enough to stick your flower into. Okay? Watch your fingers because you don't want to get cut. Put your hand down at the bottom. And like I said, if you have something else to get this out of, then do so. Something easier than what I did. But of course, you know, I, I think I did it the long way, the hard way. But um, now we're going to dig this piece out. We're going to go in here because we don't need that much. We just need it at the bottom of this thing here. Okay, so we go in and we take as much as we can out of here. Okay, and we stick it down at the bottom, you see? Now it's down at the bottom. You see how precise that is? And then when we do that, if you want, you can get those little fake little grass things. Yeah, you can put some more down there, all right, if you want to, but it's nothing. It won't come out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to need like a... These are from the Dollar Tree, too. And what you're going to do is just cut this thing here off because we don't need that anymore. If it comes off. And you get the um, a wire cutter because some of these things have wires in it. These um, flowers here that you get from the Dollar Tree. You know, cut yourself. Make sure you be careful with this. That's why I don't do too many DIYs because, um, but as you can see, this is, um, uh, whispering. Done. I, um, enlarged this painting. Uh, what I did was I took a picture of the one that's already in the bathroom and I took it over to, um, I hope I can say the name, quote unquote, uh, CBS, one of the, um, model brick stores. And I enlarged it to an 8 by 10 so that um, I can have like a theme in her bathroom. So I have two of them and I'm going to place this in her bathroom tonight for y'all. So you get these frames from the Dollar Tree. And what you do here, well, let me finish putting it together. I'm going to have to hurry because I don't want to take up too much time. 
But I thank you all for watching me, all of you have, who have been watching me on YouTube. I thank you so much for taking the time out for your uh, busy schedule and um, time from your life to watch me. So this one has been done. And you see this here? You're not going to set it up like this. Of course not. You want to put it on the wall. So what you could do, just take this off in the back. You see this? It comes right off. And what we can do now is what we're going to do is put the... Um, these stick on tapes because a lot <coughs> excuse me a lot of people do not like holes in the walls these days like in apartment buildings uh, people who uh, have apartment buildings really can't put holes in the wall so now we have it where we can go get these stick up stick on tapes and it sticks some of them can hold like up to 50 pounds believe it or not go to um, one of those brick model stores Home Depot um, uh, you know not that I'm advertising them but places like that Walmart and get those um, hooks that sticks right on the wall no hole so here we go now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish up with this one it's empty as you can see so I wanted to show you how I blew up the picture uh, where is it I think I left this one in the envelope okay so this is the envelope you're going to get from CVS with the pictures in it and you get home you check it and everything like that and this one I blew up to an 8x10. Yeah, this is 8x10. So, um, we're going to take this and we're going to place it. See how beautiful this is? I blew this up. It was just a, um, I duplicated another picture that I bought. The one that I have in there is a canvas in the bathroom. And what I did was I took a picture of it with my camera and I took it over to CBS and because I wanted to make a, uh, some more pictures to put around in her bathroom with this kind of coordination, you know, like a theme for a bathroom. So, here we go. Put that in here. Put this stuff here, here. Yeah, put it in here. Close it down. And don't, don't forget now, we already took off the back because we're gonna stick this on the wall. And if you don't want this part here, just get that off too, don't worry about it. But we're worrying about the tape that goes around here to make sure that it's thick. Or you can get those, um, 3M tapes, you know, hooks. They got the 3M hooks and they have these kind of tape in the back of them and you just stick it on the wall and it, it holds like some some of them will hold up to 50 pounds. So you don't have to put a hole. You don't have to drill a hole in your wall nowadays. Um, I don't know if I'm putting this on right because it looks like it's getting a little out of whack here for me. But anyway, we got it. Okay. So we close this wall down and now we have a wall picture, you see, to put on in her bathroom. We got two of them because this way I want to put two more in her bathroom. So we got that. Then I'm going to hurry up and get to the next step. Now I went and bought this here too. These are going to be like um, the thing that's going to go on this. This I bought, but some of you probably can make it. If you are used to doing DIY, you probably can make this. Just get some wire and a little cardboard and something. But of course, sometimes um, I get a little lazy and um, hey, I'm not used to doing DIY. Excuse me, y'all. There's little kids playing around here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up on the wall too in the bathroom. So now we're leaving out of the kitchen to the bathroom to finish up some of her wall uh, decorating uh, decors. So now where are we? Um, oh, I got to hurry. Okay, so now you know this is big this sponge thing here. It's kind of big. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these little things. Get them from the Dollar Tree. These all come from the Dollar Tree. You get three of these little things here for a dollar. Okay? Planners for just a dollar. Alright? And it's just like what you need for her bathroom. Uh, so what you do is you take it, put it here. Take a pencil or a pen. Doesn't matter. Because you're going to cut it out. Go around the bottom here so that you know how big this is going to go down into your thing. You see? Now you got the hole here. You see? So you keep going around and going around. But I don't have all the equipment I need to, to dig this out. So what I'm going to try to do is just go around and try to get it out as much as I can. Because I don't need that much anyway. So I'm going to move it as fast as I can. This is the last decor. Well, another decor that I'm going to put here on that little shelf, on that 
hexagon shelf right here that we have there. And, you know, if you got like, um, okay, so we, we want to get down in here as much as we can. Get as much of this as we can. Um, let's keep going. And don't cut your hands now, okay? So, uh, be careful with the scissors. Be careful with knives. Anything you use. And you can do it on this side, too. I don't know why I did uh, it on this at uh, uh, the bottom. It probably would have been better if I did it up at the top. But, like I said, I am good with DIY with um, centerpieces. And I use a lot of this to do my centerpieces. So, let's see how much we, we need here. But we got to stick that down in that thing there. And this is too big. I couldn't find a smaller size, so I got as much as I could from the Dollar Tree. So you just keep going around and around until you feel that you got enough to stick your flower into. Okay? Watch your fingers because you don't want to get cut. Pull your hand down at the bottom. And like I said, if you have something else to get this out of, then do so. Something easier than what I did, but of course, you know, I, I think I did it the long way, the hard way, but um, Now we're going to dig this piece out We're going to go in here because we don't need that much. We just need it at the bottom of this thing here Okay, so we go in and we take as much as we can out of here Okay, and we stick it down at the bottom, you see? Now it's down at the bottom. You see how precise that is? And then when we do that, if you want, you can get those little, fake little grass things. Yeah, you can put some more down there, y'all right. If you want to, but it's nothing, it won't come out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to need like, a, these are from the Dollar Tree too. And what you're going to do is just cut this thing off because we don't need that anymore. If it comes off. And you get the, um, a wire cutter. Because some of these things have wires in it, these um, flowers here that you get from the Dollar Tree. And don't cut yourself. Make sure you be careful with this. That's why I don't do too many DIYs because, um, but as you can see, this is a um, uh, whispering license tree, and I mean bush. And what this does, it, it usually hang over a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down to the point. Oh. Uh, okay, I don't know if we're running out of time because sometimes you have to charge up these stones. Oops, okay, so, all right, so we got that down there like that. But I really want this part here. I don't know why this came off. Uh, what a shame that it came off. Okay, let's see if we can put it back on here. It may not go back on. These kids are getting it, it being bad. Kids! Okay, so it doesn't want to go back on. So we take this, stick it down in here, because we want this to like um, drip over a little bit. I don't know what to do with that because it's not um, it's, Oh, okay, maybe maybe he came out of here, I don't know. Did he come out of here, y'all? No, he didn't come out of there. Okay, so he came out from somewhere. So now we take this one here, we still have one here. Push it up as far as you can, I guess. Okay, it won't go no more. And then just have it drip over. I'm going to try to move as fast as I can. Okay, on that side. And I, I'm so upset over this one. But I guess we could just stick it in here some kind of way. Okay, how's that? So you won't see that green thing down there too. And then we're going to take a rose. But first, let's get some more in Ooh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> wow. I tell you one thing about feminine, anything can happen. Alright, so. Ooh, excuse me again. So we take that. But we're human, don't worry about it. So we get that and we're dripping it over just like how it grows up and it drip over. Here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to put a rose in here, somewhere in the middle. Oops. Okay, he, he just he doesn't want to act right, right? 
Okay, so we're going to put the rolls in here. Like I told you, I'm good with centerpieces. You know, put them right down in here. How's that? Isn't that beautiful? So now you have it. You have your whistling rose um, piece here to go in your bathroom. And then if you need some more stuff to go around it to hold it down some more, don't be afraid to cut some more of this stuff down and then ship it around there so it can hold more study. Take this. Um, like I said, I don't have all the, the cutting equipment. Take it and go around as much as you can. Use whatever you can, okay? Some people don't have the right equipment, but do what you can with what you have. And then you take that and push it down around in here so it can hold a little bit better. Down in here. And then see, now you have it. Now it's, it's really going to be sturdy. But you know what? I think I want another rose, so I'm going to put one more rose there. You get one of these. Um, what about this one? This one looks beautiful. And I think I want this one a little bit more up. So we're going to cut that like on the angle of how you cut a rose. Okay? So we're going to put this one down here. So. Now this is going to fit on this shelf. It's a little, you know, big. You might put it down here. Let's see if it fits. Oh, so it's not fitting at all. So we may have to put it on top. But you can't because, see, it's like, um. Let me see if I can get it down some more and lower. It should just fit right in. Here we go. And look how beautiful that looks. Oh, okay. So, we're finished with this. So now what we do is we're going to go to the bathroom. And we're going to display this stuff in the bathroom. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have some more stuff. We have this too. This is pretty beautiful. This is a tea light holder. And this is from the Dollar Tree. So all this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. And all you do is just, you just buy whatever candle you want or tea light um, lighting and put it in there, okay? So this one is going to go right, like maybe in here, down at the bottom with your tea light. And then uh, we're going to use the rest of this for something else. But we got, got that done. Okay, y'all going to have to excuse me because I got to go and get something. I'm missing something. Okay, I'm back. Now, since this is going into the bathroom, I found this little gym thing here. It's so cute. And I don't even remember what store I went into, but it has like seashells in it. So what I'm going to do with that, and it was only, I think it was just a, a dollar or two. You can make them yourself. You know, if you got any little empty jars like this. And you can put that on the side of him. It might be a little bit too over-decorated. And then for your guests, Look, just a dollar, okay? These little cute washcloth. And um, you put them right here. So that your guests, you know, you welcome in your guests in. Now we have it. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I have some more pictures and stuff that I want to blow up. I think this is a beautiful picture of me. I hope y'all like this picture. This is very beautiful. And I'm, um, you know, this is one of my decor ideas here in another house where I had the mirrors on the wall as you can see and um, okay so yeah this is um, I just wanted to show y'all that I want to blow that up and probably put it downstairs in the basement or in my room I don't know I have a whole lot of beautiful pictures there's another one I want to blow up isn't that cute with the little teddy bear and you just take it over to CBS say you want to 8 by 10 go to Dollar Tree buy a dollar frame and do just what I did here Okay, now what we're going to do now, we're going to try to finish up this stuff. You know, I'm making a mess over here, but uh, it saved a lot of money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, use the back taping. We, let's just hope that it sticks because these are not really the ones I want. But I couldn't go outside today because the weather is kind of bad upstate New York, so... I stayed inside and I really wanted to go, but I just wanted to give y'all an idea. Okay, because, um, put him on the corner. Okay. Like so, on each corner. 
and hopefully they'll stick on the wall. Let's hope, okay? If not, we're just going to run back to Home Depot and get the other one, the 3M stickers. They're very strong and, and um, they can hold up to like 50 pounds on your wall. And they just stick on. You don't have to nail a hole in your wall, you know what I mean? Especially people that live in apartments. Uh, the landlord don't want you to, to um, put a hole in his wall. These are good ideas to get your pictures up on the wall. And um, decor ideas up on your wall. You know, do your decorating a different way. Okay, so we're going to put two on this side here too because I want to make sure this thing holds. Because it um, falls off the wall and it will break in pieces. So if y'all want, we can pause and come back because you pretty much know what I'm doing right now is just putting the backing on here. And I want to show y'all something before we pause. Besides all these pictures I'm trying to look through to do some um, more um, DIY pictures on the walls. But you don't have to go buy these things. I have a whole bunch of them here, believe it or not. I have so many pictures that I have to go through. Um, I even think I had pictures of me at, um, I got family pictures. I got some of everything in here you guys can think of. And um, this one here is so memorable. I wanted to show you this one with my little cat. And her name was Beautiful. See my cat? That was my cat, Beautiful. Is she beautiful? She was like a deep, dark brown cat. And that's one of my uh, family member friends holding her. So, yeah. But anyway, um, she was very beautiful. So now, we'll look through that later. Because that's a whole lot of stuff. Oops. Okay, we don't want to lose our jaw for whatever else we have to do. Okay, so now we have that done. And I have some collectible calendars here. As y'all can see, of ex-presidents. And what I'm, I really don't have to blow these up because they're already coming as 8 by 10 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like, um, President, I have President um, Bush. I have a whole bunch of President. I think I even have, uh, see this was sent to me when I was a Republican, believe it or not, at that time. And they would send you all these things here. So I have this and I have him here. And so what I'm going to do is make a frame for him and his wife and um, his campaign is this whole calendar here so i keep it and th this one is really beautiful okay so you don't really have to blow it up you just get a frame and put around there um, this is another one okay so i have a whole bunch of them and what i'm going to do is make a little gallery um like going downstairs in the basement or going downstairs or uh, somewhere for her because she loves presidents they may love president and so we have some stuff here too with um the 9 11 which was so badly we were so devastated look at this one here i don't know if anybody want to be reminded of 9 11 but this is also a picture frame thing okay so you could put a uh, frame around here and go along with the collection here okay so now what we're going to do now I'll show y'all that when I get to that, okay? I'm not to that, but I'm just looking for other pictures. Okay, so now we, we're just about finished with this, I think. Uh, did we finish it up? No. I just stopped to show you guys something. So, 20 minutes left. I think we got 20 minutes left, so I'm going to move a little faster. Um, let me see if I can get this done now in 20 minutes. Ooh. Okay, so we go over here. And let's pray that this thing sticks on. If not, I'll go and get the um, the hooks, the hook stickers. Besides this one here, you know, the hook stickers. Put that over here. Okay. Okay, y'all, now we're in the bathroom. And you remember, if y'all was following me on YouTube. Oop, I got some stuff down the floor here. If you follow me on YouTube, this is the picture that, the canvas that I bought from... I think it was Marshalls, I'm not sure. And what I did was duplicate this, this um, canvas, it's mine, so I can do it. I bought it, I paid for it. Um, so what I did was I made uh, two more frames of the picture. You see how it looks? Almost identical, isn't it? So, and all I did was taking it to, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one right over here. Okay. And let's hope that it sticks. Oh. 
So we're not doing too bad. It's sticking, y'all. Let's hope that it stay. If not, you know what we have to do. Run and go get the other sticker. Okay, now we have this one here. This is because we're going to put two. It says, so now you can see the coordination coming together. Then we're going to put this right up here. Unless, like I said, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have put that up yet. You know why? Because I think when I try to put this, oh, this is very beautiful. So what I'm going to do now, I have to take these things back out. Because I was just showing y'all how it looks once they get together. And what you can do, get a pencil. What I'm going to do is get y'all a pencil. Um, and what you do with the pencil, you go in here like so. And you draw right in here. Or you can use a ruler if you want. But to me, I think it's simple. Just get a pencil and mark right in that hole there. So it'll, it'll tell you where you, you, you're going to put the um, tax at. Right now I'm going to use tax. Because I, like I said, I didn't go out to get all the rest of the stuff. So that's going to go there. Now where is the tack? Um, I don't know if I brought it in here. Um, tax. Oh, we have it. Now, tax are used for everything. But let's see what happens here now. Because you know I'm experimenting, y'all. I am experimenting on this. So, we're going to use, don't have no black tax in there, huh? Color this, this. Okay, eventually we're going to paint the bathroom too, or either do wallpaper. But right now it's freshly paint, it's just flat paint. I think she would like to have like a semi-gloss paint um, eventually in this bathroom. And remember what I told y'all, now I already put up the, the curtains, I made these curtains myself, and I bought these ones here. And what I did was I, I made it like two curtains. There was only one curtain, believe it or not. And this here was just um, a curtain. But I made it as a shower curtain. So, y'all can see that very clearly. And um, I think what I'm going to do is make a coronation color of beige or something for a bathroom. But let me just move along. So now y'all see what I've done. I put the painting there, painting there. So you won't get bored in this bathroom. So... <laughs> You know, it's good. Um, so what we're going to do now. Oh, by the way. I want to tell y'all that I made a little canvas too. I didn't make it. What I did was I went to um, uh, Google. Google. And I'll leave a link down below because I'm not making any money for this. But Google makes Google prints. Google prints. They make beautiful canvas. Look, this canvas look almost identical to this canvas, don't it? I mean, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it upside down. But identical. They did such a wonderful job. So this is going to go up too. But as you can see, I'm definitely going to have to get some other things for this. This is the hook in the back that I'm going to need to, to hook this up. But you guys get the idea. So I should have did a before picture. I forgot to do a before picture so when y'all can um, finally see when this bathroom comes to life but just follow me on youtube okay and i'll start doing uh before pictures i'm sorry about that i just realized i should have taken a picture before and show you all the results afterward for some of y'all that don't know what's going on you know if you're just tuning in you probably wouldn't know but but people that are following me on youtube with decorating ideas and like i say share your ideas with me too and i love you watching me and i thank you all for watching me now, where were we? Now, we're going to go in here, and we're going to use tax for now. And we just want to get an idea of how this thing looks. Oh, okay, so we might might have did right. <laughs> okay, so the tax. And look, you don't have a big hole in your wall, okay, because those are tax. Okay, and um, like I said, um, I put all the stuff on the floor here, y'all. <laughs> okay, so... And go all of our tax down here. Okay, so I'm going to edit my video so y'all won't see that. I'll, maybe I'll leave that in because I'm human and everybody is human. So we got to make um, some things happen. Okay, so here we go. You put a tack right up in here. You're being precision, precisely right. Put it here and let's hope that he goes right over there. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to take this. And we're going to put him in over the tack. Oh, right. We did good. We did excellent, John. I don't... Oh, wait a minute. We're a little bit too... Oh, okay. We got it. Yeah. Okay, so we got this right. We are precisely right. 
There you go. So you have it up with just tax. Would you believe it? And tax, what kind of hole you want to get with tax? Okay. So, um, I mean, a little pinch of hole. Because these are like, you know, stick pins. But they also call tax. You know, like the little tap. Tap, tap. Oh, I can't speak. I'm speaking erotic, y'all. But these are them here. See? They don't put no big hole in your wall. But if you, you, you're scared of hitting a, a hole in your wall at all, like I said, go to Home Depot or what else did I say? Walmart and buy those stick-on ones that um, hook up like that. I just haven't gotten to the store yet. But, okay. So this one, you can use that for that too. But, um... I'm upset because I didn't do a before picture. Okay, so now we're going to put back our decor. And we want this like kind of hanging over. So make sure we push this down in here. Uh, like so. And we're going to get that hanging over there with the pretty roses there. Push down the roses. Don't worry about it if it's too. The roses grow up. And see, look how beautiful that is. Okay, it's hanging over. So now we're going to put this on each side of him because it's a little shell you know like you're at the beach or something and we're going to turn that put that in here so people got something to look at when they're in the bathroom it's not too boring but we don't want them to go to sleep in the bathroom because some of them get too comfortable and remember a dollar okay for when your guests come over and you're looking for washcloth have them just pull this this stuff here right down from here okay all right and we're going to cut that off okay just a dollar mm -hmm. and um this is going to be like a base right in here and uh we're going to you know put like one of those little things in there a little light or something a candle now remember if you're going to use a candle i suggest that you do not put a candle in there like buy one of those little bulbed lights that you can click on you know with the battery clicking on the reason why is because this is wood and you catch on fire. Even if you put it here, I believe that it can catch on fire. So not unless you put the candle in a way where it doesn't catch on fire. But I know definitely here, candle rises up and it, this is wood so it will catch on fire. So just go to um, the Dollar Tree or wherever you want to go to one of the stores. And uh, arts and crafts store. And buy one of those little things to put down there and just flip the light. Okay everybody, I'm okay. tuning out right now. But I just want to say thank you. Renee want to say thank you for watching her uh, bathroom come alive and her home come alive. And uh, she said thank you all uh, for watching um, these display right here in the bathroom. Now we're going to go back to the, the kitchen because the kitchen is in the wall. No, you got to get the wall over there. Wow. Come back out. And you can see the Okay. Okay, so everybody, thank y'all for watching Sweet Sugar Plum Home Decorating Ideas Decors for the wall. So we did a wall decor for the bathroom today, and I will be tuning out. But I thank you all for uh, subscribing. Just subscribe to my channel if you like what you see, okay? And leave your comments below. We love you. Bye-bye.